Morning, morning, monsters. The uh, thing of the day today is a casual game called Voxelgram that I want to take a peek at. There's a lot of games that I really enjoy that are very, very bite-sized and small, which don't really fit on stream. We've played some of them before on stream before, but they don't really work. So um, I just want to point it out because it's quite a small indie game on Steam um, that we discovered through a thing that's going to be a whole nother talk and a whole nother subject at some time, but not this morning because I need to prep it more. So Voxelgram is three-dimensional Picross. You get presented with these scenes and um, you fill them out. So they start really, really simple. Dear. They start really, really simple. I'll just go to the sort of demo one, just so you get uh, the basic of the basic view um, that we can finish really quickly. And then we will do it. So basically in the scene, oh dear. In the scene, everything starts out as blocks and you go in and much like pick cross, but in three dimensions, you're like, oh, this column has nothing in it. That's great. This column has nothing in it. This column has nothing in it. And then you're like, all right, this column here, sorry, this uh, row here has three things in it. So that's all good. Um, this one has three things in it with a gap. So that's actually finished. Three things in it with a gap. Three things in it with a gap. Um, and so you basically, it's a very relaxing game. It fits very well into a lunchtime um, session or, you know, just a little bite-sized bit of play. It's, as I say, not the kind of game I would generally play on stream, which is why we're doing a quick casual peek at it. Um, but it has been sort of my go-to game if I am watching something or I have something in the background. Um, it's a very nice, quick, casual play. Um, and so they get those bits out. Um, where have we made a mistake? We've made a mistake somewhere. Um, ah, there. I think. Oh, we forgot to trim off that fat there. Have we? Oh, no, we must have. So now something I have turned on, uh, sorry, it's turned off because I don't like it, but that is on by default. And I recommend you turn off if you're interested in this game is highlight errors, because if you have left that on, um, it just makes the game too easy. It progresses things too fast. You don't really learn from it. So there it's showing us our errors there and there. Um, so if I do that um, and that, yeah. So I recommend you turn that off. It's a lot more interesting a game with that off. But let's just go to here, turn that off again. Right. But as you see, you build up these lovely scenes. Um, it's very relaxing. It's kind of like a visual Sudoku. And I highly encourage you to take a peek. It's quite cheap on Steam. And uh, yeah, it, it's a really, really interesting concept. I have seen games like this before. This game is not um, the first of its genre. So um, don't be afraid, for instance, if you wanted to make... Um, yeah, Picross is a very old... Um, Picross is a very old game. It's not like a, a modern thing. It's traditionally a paper game, Picross 2D. Picross 3D is, um, or Voxelgram as they've called it here, is just a sort of evolution of that take, um, much like Sudoku or whatever. So yeah, I'd recommend, I you know, if you, if you want to sort of dive into that, it's great. But as I say, from a dream, dream's point of view, if someone wants to recreate this, I would also say that's totally doable and interesting. I'd actually be quite interested in this as a casual VR game if I'm completely honest with myself. Um, that's 9, so 12. You start getting these mental math shortcuts in your head, so like 12 minus 9 is um, 3. 
so you know that there's only ever going to be three capped on either side even if it's extreme so you can immediately do that and that also means you do that and you're like all oh, right I, and then you know that has to have a gap so of two because there's only two things on there so you start learning these shortcuts much like you do when you do sudoku and other style games um so like here you know that that's i don't know it's a five three um i do recall that i do recall that so i'm um, quietly just saying that he made an impin cross puzzle by hand on the mm newsletter yes i do do recall that um but yeah so uh i just i just find this really interesting and really intriguing because i play a lot of pick cross games on mobile um or what's the other word for them nanny there's another japanese word that's blanking out my brain um but they're very very satisfying very relaxing um nonograms nonograms that's the word thank you nonograms um but yeah i'm i'm a big fan of this sort of thing because it doesn't require any um so like i'm not a big crossword person because i find crosswords are very um they're not they're not vocabulary they're very vocabulary specific in the sense of if you as a british person tried to do an american crossword or vice versa you have a lot of problems um and they tend to lean on pop culture knowledge so i find the thing i dislike about crosswords i find the more you deviate from the social norm the harder crosswords are to do it's also kind of the reason i dislike pub quiz um because they, they tend to be arbitrary areas of knowledge whereas something like this you can show someone the rules and they will get the rules very quickly and then getting good at it is just a matter of practice and coming up with the formulas all of which are self um, contained yet I mean when I say deviant I mean like for example if you're not into uh, pop culture you won't get a lot of pop culture references in a pub quiz um, you know like there'll be questions that people consider easy I know that like when people put together pub quiz teams they'll um, they'll generally get people who know sports and know this and know that um, but outside of um, very niche settings my esoteric knowledge doesn't really come into play for a pub quiz um, you know there are people aren't asking questions about ridiculously stupidly obscure stuff uh, I yeah it's just how um, what I'm interested in uh, so yeah I, I, I much I, I was a big fan of Sudoku but I found Sudoku to be um, unsatisfying quite quickly because the rules of Sudoku are relatively simple um, much like the rules of this are relatively simple but unlike this there's no um, visual element to it um, I found Sudoku just gets a bit bland whereas this um, and other games like this where there's that the common theme of you generally sort of revealing an image or revealing a, a thing it becomes very very interesting but yeah I'm gonna dig into that later as I say it's not a very good stream game so that's why I wanted to do just a quick um, morning peek at it mm. and just sort of highlight it for people because there's there are so many games like this on Steam that don't really get the attention they deserve um, it's well worth the money it's very well made because so many of these games are poorly made um, so many of them are sort of cash grabs for the casual market where they think quality doesn't matter as much and um, no this is this is a really elegantly made game with a good um, less level set and uh, yeah I just it's just such a strong strong recommend from me really really do um, come back there yeah no it's got wonderful music the sound effects are quite lovely I'll be honest I usually turn the music off when I'm playing um, because I'm often doing something else at the same time 
but I have played it with just the music and I've sort of zoned out for a while. And uh, yeah, as I say, if you if I go out to leave this puzzle, the the scenes um, there are several of them, and it's very pleasing to sort of you quite quickly figure out what the scene is like. This is a beach scene or whatever, but it's very pleasing to sort of untangle all the individual bits and go what is that and then you're like oh of course this is a toaster and sometimes that contextual clue actually helps you solve the puzzle as well which is something i like um but it's not required it's not at all required so for instance um if it was something you would never imagine you can still still solve it so yeah that is voxelgram i don't really think i need to spend much more time on it explaining um what it is um yeah it's, it's very very chill and i would give a strong recommend on it um yeah it's a, it's a nice quick casual game and for those of you on the recording i will bid you adieu um so farewell monsters take care and uh, hopefully see you tomorrow